Abigail has been seized by a gang of magic kids hired thugs. I've got a ray gun pointed at my head. They're demanding that we channel their broadcast from the pyramid. It appears that magic kids have taken control of the pyramid. We're averting our transmission now to the top of the pyramid where magic kids have hijacked the apex. Magic kids. Live from the top of the pyramid. We're taking off. The pyramid's lifting up into space at the end of this broadcast. Join us or die. We resist Beth Best Pro Shop. This is our pyramid now. Thank you very much. And I think we're gonna. Magic cube. Thanks for joining us here at the top of the pyramid. Uh, Today we have a, a special show for you. This is not your ordinary broadcast. Um, no magic is classics. Now we must play another song. If they do not match. Hmm, what should we do now? I say we play our own music. Let's give the uh, let's give the audience a little olive branch. W w one classic, one classic. Uh, how about how about Hey Boy? Yeah, yeah, I like the sound of that. Kisses too. I get so many. I don't need any. You. It's a state of emergency in Memphis, Tennessee. We have occupied the top of the pyramid. Do not try to resist us. We are Magic Kids Militia. The Magic Kids Militia. At the end of this broadcast, we will take off because the pyramid is a spaceship. That's why it's worth so much money. What are we gonna do now? Oh. You heard the voices. Hi. I've just received a transmission in a bottle from the future. Uh, it appears to be a recording 
some kind of radio play. Uh, let's, uh, let's play it. Let's see what this is all yeah, about. Yeah, let's play this thing. Maybe they'll bring some wisdom. It was a dark and stormy night. It was always a dark and stormy night. It had been 15 years since the sun was turned upside down and started projecting black light. 12 years since the technology was developed to station miles of factories and power plants in the clouds. 11 since it was co-opted by the military for the installation of their own watchtowers. We all assumed they had long since forgotten about us, leaving the dog police behind to enforce their perpetual worldwide curfew. But on this night, I could have sworn that wherever I went, it was raining the hardest on me. And the sun was shining darker than ever. That's okay. I needed all the cover I could get. Staying out at the quarter past eight in this part of town would be enough to get me taken in for questioning. And I was pushing 10 o'clock. Any later, and the dogs don't bother asking questions if you know what I'm saying. Stay on track. Walk with purpose. Anything to avoid attracting attention on the way to my last stop. Because even with my borrowed uniform, one look at my face is enough to tell I'm too young to be an RX man. Tuesdays. Well, young friend, our readings show you've stopped taking your horse tranquilizers, which, as you know, means a twice-weekly house call until you're sorted out. Does your mother know? That's preposterous. Why, I'm as tranquil as five horses. And don't you bring my mother into this. She's been asleep in her room since 7.55, a model of tranquility. Hmm, it's worse than I thought. You're exhibiting a combination of hostility and attention to detail classically associated with horse tranquilizer withdrawal. You're coming with me to the clinic where we have ways of making you eat your dinner. We'll have to take your mother's car. She won't mind, of course. Unhand me. I'll start taking my medicine, I promise. You'll never get away with this. Whew. Phew. I don't know how we got you out of your house without attracting attention. That last bit sounded especially unconvincing. Why not? We always get away with everything. She was right. We'd been getting away with things for far too long. Unlike most of the other runaways, her mother never reported her missing. So when her mother mysteriously disappeared, she was able to return home and maintained the facade that nothing had ever happened. Her house became a unique outpost in the middle of suburbia, a link to the old world. But the artifact I recovered on this night was big enough to be the last thing we'd ever need from the old world. So the last stop on my mission was to pick her up and take her with me. The only thing left was to make it to the hideout before- Will you turn your thoughts down a little? Your inner monologue's drowning out the radio, and my favorite song is on.
writing that down. The dogs can hear us <laughs> from miles away. You want to get cheered up and made into Sloppy Joes? Remind me about my sister. The demand for Sloppy Joes has fallen substantially since the school systems did away with lunchtime. Besides, it's Friday night. We're allowed to get a little sloppy. Not too sloppy until we make it to Kid Town. I don't even understand why there's still such thing as Fridays. Or for that matter, nighttime. Come to think of it, if the sun turned upside down on a Thursday, maybe it just never really stopped being Thursday night. Always on the verge of a new Friday. Speaking of which, I have a surprise for you. I'll show you when we get to the hideout. Our hideout was a long abandoned skating rink in the middle of a part of town the dog police rarely showed interest in. We kept them at bay by installing a series of ear-piercing whistles around Kid Town's perimeter. Skateland itself was even more fortified, with a non-stop disco soundtrack encoded with frequencies imperceptible to its residents, but unbearable to dogs, deadly to cops. Skateland was like a miniature town unto itself, populated by runaways and orphans, some too young to remember a right-side-up sun. Over the years, most of the first generation of magic kids had gone away one by one. Some say the music started to hurt their ears. Some say they turned into dog police. No matter what happens, that's never going to happen to me. Look, Skateland. You go first. You said you had a surprise? Oh, yeah. That. I've been working with the dog police for the last year, and I've just disabled the music permanently. They'll be here in the next 10 minutes. What? Why? Why did you do it? 
magic kids had it wrong. They caused all of this. Suns don't just turn upside down by themselves. They crashed into it in 2011 when they tried to leave the Earth in a giant pyramid. Shut up. Shut up. I don't believe you. Um, this Weevil archive I discovered on my mom's computer says otherwise. What's worse, they knew this would happen down to this very conversation. And with that, we knew it was over. We all gathered at the hockey table, air hockey table, for one last meal together. But knowing we soon would be meals ourselves, none of us had much of an appetite. Some cried, others held hands and enjoyed the first moments of non-disco music they had heard at some time. It would be their last. And the people at our table Too busy being born Too busy dying to see Their feet Resting on the back of time Reflections of another Who trades the ruins of love For a song Back. Uh, Broadcast 
Broadcasting live from top of the pyramid. That's right, folks. We have control of the pyramid and, and thus the city. Your minds. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's see what the, the outside world thinks about all this. See if they... Uh, hey, uh, my phone number is 943-799999. So just give us a call if you want to hear anything in particular. Could this be? Hello? Hello? It has a cowbell. Cowbell nice, caller. Nice trick. Nice trick, caller. Oh, I got another call coming. Hello? Hello? Can, uh, can I ask who's calling? Who is it? Don't tell me it's another cowbell. Hello, anybody on the line? Okay, we're going to the next caller. This is Jimeline. Oh. Hey guys, my name is Crystal. Oh. I'm like really excited about the radio. Um, I listen okay. to you all the time. You're my favorite band. Oh my goodness. I really want oh. to hear the song Good to Be. I listen to it all the time. I listen to it in the really? car. I listen to it when I get right here in the morning. Oh my God. I play it for all Yeah, I think we lost that one. Yeah. And yeah, no, no one has any good requests. Hmm. What should we play? Let's just make one up right now. Okay. Oh my God. We have to, it's five o'clock, we have to put our jingle. Magic kids have taken over the pyramid. That's right, live from the pyramid, we're the magic kids. We're gonna play you a song, we're just gonna make it up as we go along. We play.
songs. We're lifting off momentarily. Everybody hold on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, <laughs> my